It's called trust die between husband and wife. I imagine it's the same for you and Jim. What are you talking about? I've got everything I need. All over the underwear I was wearing when we last met. But the will is clear. In the event of your remarriage, her estate is bequeathed to the several charities of her choice. Oh. Laura, no. <sighs> Two years ago, I had a penis. I was born a boy, sister. The lining of a mattress. I've been stitched up here. I swear. You're a bloody saint. Saint Carole. Sleep. <laughs> See, your wedding nerves. You feel better when you get that gold band on your finger. Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Malcolm, you don't think. I mean, we don't have to get married, you know. Of course we do. It's all I want. But if we didn't, we, we could still live together. Lots of people do. Let's face it. We've both been there before. It's only a daft bit of paper. It's about Bobby, isn't it? You're not over him. I just... I don't want you to feel you've rushed into anything. You don't trust me? I do, of course. But, but what would it matter if we didn't actually... It would matter very much indeed. So much so, I don't think I can see you anymore. I have my principal, Sylvia. I think I'm a little too old to have a girlfriend. I thought you wanted to be Mrs. Nicholson, but if you don't feel enough for me to make that kind of commitment, then please tell me now. Oh, Malcolm. I just want us to be happy. And marry me on Saturday. Be my wife. Nothing else will do. You mean it? It's natural to feel nervous. Hmm? Look, we've just got one last morning shift, then... Lunch with Jim and Di, and no more work till after the honeymoon. I want you to relax and enjoy the wedding. It's cost us enough. Right. Tempers are wearing thin after last night's cell spin, so take it easy. I don't want any more kicking off. Buxton's on segregation till I investigate exactly what happened yesterday. Hey. Those scissors were in her mattress. And if they hadn't been found, they could be sticking out of one of our backs right now. What's to investigate? Well, she's denying any part of it, says they were planted. Well, she would, wouldn't she? I know, I know, but I've got to follow procedure. I think she should be shipped out. She's always causing trouble, and after yesterday, it's obvious she's dangerous. Here, here. Yeah, but uh, we can't be seen to be unable to manage the hard nuts. If she's guilty, she'll be punished. In the meantime, Aaron Palmer's adjudication just have to wait. Right, we've got a new arrival, Pat Kerrigan, shipped in last night. Another man-hater. Stabbed her boyfriend in the groin. Mm, charming. 
obviously one to watch. Apparently at Alberton she uh, ran the lifers unit and I'm not having that on my wing. So on your guard, all of you. Right, ten minutes to unlock. Thank you. Uh, you and Malcolm still up for this lunch? Of course. Good. Di, have you got a second? Are you all right? No. Di, I don't know what to do. Good old Auntie Margaret. What a cow. We've spent a fortune on the flipping wedding. Not to mention the rest. And if we actually go ahead with it, we can't afford it. Well, what does Malcolm say? I haven't told him. But when I suggested calling it off, he was devastated. For heaven's sakes, you've got to come clean. Oh, no, Di, please. I couldn't. He said he wouldn't live in sin. And I don't want to lose him. But if he knew why... I mean... Look, let's face it. He's been happy enough to spend it. He might have a change of heart if he knew his nest egg wasn't going to hatch. What if he had a change of heart about me? Oh, listen to yourself. If he did that, then what does that tell you, eh? That the money's more important to him. No, it's... It's... It's being man and wife. That's what he wants. And I... It's what I want too. Why, even if it means losing the lot? Yes. You could still tell him and get married. At least he knows what he's getting into. You've got to promise you won't say anything. Of course I won't. Well, come on. Dry your eyes and get on with it. You just have to start cutting a few corners, is all. Every time I dig you out of a hole, you dig another one twice oh, as come deep. Come on, you know damn well I'm not stupid enough to set myself up. I'm not up so like sure this. about I that. I was framed by your wife. Oh, come on, don't be so ridiculous. She hates me. Only last week she threatened me, said I should watch my back. Anyway, the point is, I've got to punish you. They're bleating for your transfer out as we no. speak. No, if I get done for this, those knickers come out of hiding and straight to the police. Never mind your job, you'll be on sexual assault charges. Don't you? Stop! Or we can hang on to what we've got. Let somebody else take the blame. How do you figure that one out? I don't. We do. Oi, mind the hair. Let's get this done in time for lunch. I've been in that reception dorm all night with a bunch of screaming teenagers and no bastard came round with breakfast. That's basic rights violation, that. Sorry, it must have been a lapse in communication with night shift. Lapse of giving a bugger, more like. I'm bloody starving. You'll have to wait till you've been processed, I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, low blood sugar makes me irritable. You could ask my ex-boyfriend, but I don't suppose you've got a medium on call. All right. I'll take her to see Dr Nicholson. Well, see if I've got any suicidal tendencies. Of course I've got bloody suicidal tendencies. So has every other poor sod in this place banged up ten hours a day. Bet you have an all. Then, uh, it's G-Wing I'm headed, yeah? That where the life is unit is? I see you've done your research. Well, I had some time on my hands. Plenty of activities to get involved with on G-Wing. Education, drama and art classes. We've even got a hair salon. I've got my own plans, Tom. <laughs>